Kaylin Faye Barnoski is an artist taking on multiple forms of art, but no matter which type of art it is, her Cherokee heritage plays a major role in the message she's trying to send. I'm Kaylin Faye Barnoski. I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Actually, originally from Okima, Oklahoma. I'm in school and getting both of my masters so I can be a professor. I know what I love to do and I'm really passionate about what I want to do. And so I want to give that to somebody else as well. I got into art when I was like a really tiny child. I loved art and I loved music. I still feel like art is a way anyone can help someone. Mine isn't so much about just being native as it is like trying to interact with other people who are dealing with being native and being white and trying to fit in. It's different in Oklahoma than it is anywhere else because there's 38 plus affiliated tribes in Oklahoma. So uh, most people you run into are going to be a little bit native. My dad is full blood Cherokee. All my thesis work I'm working on right now is my Christian background versus like native spiritualism and how my dad grew up and how he still carries a lot of those ideas and views but tries to mix them with Christianity. My family's really tight knit. My grandma always brought us all together. She taught and spoke in Cherokee. I definitely feel like there's a connection with my grandma when I do my art. Even though she's not here, she's always been very supportive of me doing art. She's who inspired me to do the work that I'm doing. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for her. I was told I was too young to understand much about the town and how life moves. But I remember climbing up those awful countries, taking in the beauty of I still call a town my home Though I've left and I still roam Can't explain just how I felt Living in the Bible Belt Living in the Bible Belt I didn't start playing music till I moved towards the Tulsa area. My sound is mostly folk. I do singer-songwriter stuff. I have a new album. It's called Bible Belt. All the music I write now is like stories about people I've met or people in my life or myself. A lot of it has to do with living in Oklahoma or in the Bible Belt. I've been playing some of these songs for a few years now and I just want to have a physical thing to give to people. I'm a part of two separate communities. I'm part of like the design art community and then I'm part of the music community. I do all facets of design. I do poster design. I've done web design. I do any sort of print design. I like working with silkscreen the most. I made one that's kind of comical that has a native on it and it says I'm part white, but I can't prove it. <laughs> one of the pieces I worked on was two separate silk screens that I sewed together. And one was of like a traditional like 50s family at a table, and the other was a group of like native men just out in the prairie. And I got some like syllabary on it too, which translates to yo se iagi, which means I wish I had that. It's just like a conversation about how one wishes they had the other, like my white side wishes they had like the culture and history that my native side has. My native side almost wishes they had like this traditional like white family stability. For me, Cherokee means like community. It's not even just that, it's like retaining a heritage and pushing it further and not making it better, but always being appreciative of your history, continuing it on with that. Not letting it die, but also not scared to keep progressing. Grace and rain and sins and dust caused our bodies all to 